Hi, it's Dave Parody, and I just wanted to do a quick video to remind people of the importance of using our critical thinking skills when we're looking at graphs in the media or graphs we, we see anywhere. This is an example from the Golden Mail from today that I came across, this graph here, and it shows a, an increase in the number of federal government employees here in Canada. Now, when we look at this graph, the conclusion we come to when we look at the lowest point here to the top point, they must have, wow, more than doubled the number of people in the federal civil service. That's an incredible increase over this time period, but that's not true. So we need to use our critical thinking skills to look at, is the axis giving us an accurate picture? In this case, it's not. You'll notice it doesn't start at zero. It starts at 160,000 and goes to 260,000. So I've recreated this graph using the data because nice thing, they actually allow you to download the data using a button on their website, which is great. So I recreated the data and recreated the graph the way they did it. And indeed, it's exactly that same story, but that's not the full story. When you're creating graphs, make sure that you are giving an accurate picture to your audience. You're not trying to mislead them. What they've done here is they've changed the minimum and maximum of the axis. And I see this far more often than I wish I saw. So when I take a look at the minimum and maximum here, and there it is, 160,000 to 260,000. So if I set this now instead of 160,000 to zero, which is what it should be, then when we take a look at our graph here, oh wow, look, Yes, it's an increase, but it's not that dramatic increase, and you don't get that misinterpretation of uh, almost doubled. So here's the thing that I suggest, and I'll link to a video I've done on this before, which is to give a context before you zoom in to show the details of a chart, because sometimes this is going to happen to you, where you have a chart where the, the difference in the numbers is really quite small. So how do you zoom in to take a look at that? What I suggest you do is you start with the default. So here, we're starting with the defaults. I'm just gonna reset uh, my axis settings here to be all the defaults. So reset the defaults on everything. You'll notice it changes back to the zero to 300,000. And we see, yes, there's an increase. It's significant, but it's not this dramatic doubling. So start with your chart this way. And then if you want, then go in and change the minimum and maximum to show the difference in those values. If you're putting this graph into PowerPoint, you can even use a zoom transition between the two slides to make it look like you are showing the graph first and then zooming in. So remember, when you're looking at graphs from media, from anywhere, always make sure that you're using those critical thinking skills and help your audience by giving them the context first by starting the graph at zero and then zooming in if you need to. Thanks, we'll see you soon.